You have to put that on his head. Sit down. Hey, sing happy birthday to Greg. Cause he's three years old. To you. Happy birthday to you. Go sing to him. Happy birthday, dear Grayson. Happy birthday to you. Oh, <laughs> okay, gotta give him a treat give here. Give it to Gray. Go ahead. Give it to him. Give it to Gray. AJ, give it to Gray. Give it to him. Good job. All right, I got some cute pictures. Look how cute, my boy. It's your third birthday, Gray. All right, so we are putting out our Christmas decor. Just took down a ton of the fall stuff and bringing up my Christmas bins. Anthony's bringing up more stuff. The Easter, that's the Easter one, right? Ugh, I didn't vlog any of it. Anybody want this? Getting rid of a lot of crap. Let's show you guys what we're doing. That feels good. Look at him, he's like, loving it. I will show you guys what we did. We cut, stop. <laughs> stop. What? I'm wearing my hat, because I thought we were gonna put up the outdoor decor, but we didn't. But did you know that Nationwide was on your side? Um, I'll show you guys what I did. I tried to switch things up this year. I like, I like to do that every year. No, babe, just put it. I like it. No, put it downstairs. So, I got some garland. Don't mind this lamp. I'm bringing that upstairs because we have like no light in our master bedroom. So, I'm just going to bring that up there. And I ended up moving just like the basket over there and switching things up in here just to make it a little bit more open. Got rid of that one sign over there. I don't know. It just always seems cluttered in here. I got this garland, and then we put up our stockings. And then this is the entertainment center. Don't mind the movie that's on. Still have a lot of cleaning up to do, but I think we're just gonna keep the tree here. Um, so I left some of the things out. And then, and then over here, I just did this. Pretty simple. I don't know. I'm just, I'm getting, I'm getting bored, to be honest. For the dining room, I did get this new piece. Not sure if I'm going to keep these candles here. But this is kind of like a candle centerpiece. I still need to take the tags off. I got this at HomeSense. Um, it's really late at night, so I'm sorry I'm like vlogging. I just put the advent thing there. Got that forever ago at Target. The kitchen's a mess. Excuse the dishes. Um, I got this sign recently at Home Goods, and then I put the nutcrackers up there again. And that's pretty much it. And then we have Grayson's um, stocking hanging up. But it never feels complete without the tree, so I feel like once the tree is in, it'll be better. What's up, you guys? It is the next day. I'm getting ready to go to a nail appointment. I really need my nails done. I have a freaking crater on my face. I'm just not caring today, which is why... God, the wind is crazy. It is so, so, so cold outside. I was just outside with Gray, and I feel like I'm being blown away. It's like... My, I feel like my wreath is rattling, everything on the back deck's rattling. Um, but yeah, so I'm wearing this, I'm wearing this sweatshirt that says, this is my too tired to care sweatshirt. Um, it's from Vici. Yeah, I'm just getting ready to go over to my nail appointment. Probably gonna stop and get some coffee on the way. I did like really simple makeup. I honestly just wanted to cover up this huge um, cyst. I had to pop it last night and 
I shouldn't have done that because now it's just it looks so bad but the Christmas decor yesterday um, we still have to get our tree but most of the stuff is up I, I feel like I really don't have that much Christmas decor like compared to other people um, and I got a few like new things here and there but I really haven't I don't know I, I don't like to go crazy because it's not like we're gonna be staying in this house much longer and like if I were to get anything new I would want it to be for a new house you know so I'm just keeping with my same theme from last year and nothing too different um, but yeah I don't know when we're gonna go pick out our tree hopefully this weekend because this weekend is vlog -sember. The start of vlog December, where I vlog every single day for the month of December. Um, not just up to Christmas, I vlog the whole entire month. So, really exciting. Um, I know a lot of people do like November 25th to December 25th as like vlogmas because it's really like that whole month. But yeah, I just start off December 1st. Um, and then I know other people also do um the day before december 1st as their as their actual december 1st but i don't do that i just like it to be like the first actual day of december so you might not see a vlog until december 2nd but yeah anyways so i don't really have much plans to do besides a lot of computer work and editing um trying to get some vlogs up this past weekend anthony had off the past two days so we really just wanted to spend some time together and we got some things done, got some Christmas shopping done, um, which I didn't really show. I don't really want to show because we got some things for Bella for Christmas, getting ready for her to come, um, and lots of um, Santa gifts on the way. So a list from Santa of what she wants this year. So really, really excited for Santa to come. Did a lot of shopping um, Cyber Monday and Black Friday. Um, and then Anthony was off Monday and Tuesday, and today's Wednesday, so it was Grayson's birthday yesterday. I didn't vlog that much. We were actually with Anthony's family majority of the day. We were at a surprise party, and then we came here, had dinner, and I did take pictures of him earlier in the day, like, with his birthday stuff, but I just caught a little bit of us singing to him. I got him, like, a really cute hat, which he hated, um, with a little bandana and, like, a badge or whatever it's called, but just gonna do some stuff around the house and also uh, go to my nail appointment my nail broke again so <laughs> I just got out of the nail salon finally I've been wearing that new NARS foundation that I told you guys about in one of my previous vlogs but I feel like it's a little dark for me well actually my hands aren't self tan well they are but <laughs> it wore off um, I feel like it's really dark for me but I really got it for when I'm tanner um, for like vacation and honeymoon and stuff just because I am going to be self tanning and I wanted to try a darker foundation Besides this crater on my face um, I like it. I just think it's a little dark for me right now I could probably go and get the lighter shade. So I am gonna go to uh, Honey grow and get a salad Because um, I'm craving one right now then I'm probably gonna go home. Uh, I might actually, I might stop at Target because for Black Friday, I got a 20% off coupon. If you shopped at Black Friday, you got a coupon to use later. So I might end up either going grocery shopping there um, or looking at some other gifts for my nephews for Christmas. So I'm not really sure, but I wanna see like what other sales they have. Unfortunately, I didn't really get any more gifts Black Friday weekend. We get we got a lot of gifts, but I guess I just didn't do all of my Black Friday shopping there. So, um, by the way, I did get a new color on my nails. I really like it. It's it's a little different. It's more it's like a nude, like natural color. But and hopefully it's going to focus. Of course not, cuz this camera sucks. Kind of has like a shimmer to it. It's, it's different. I really like it and I went back to coffin. I go I go back and forth from coffin to almond back and forth because I get bored but um this color is Cushio or Cusio or something um, that's the brand and the color is Los Angeles luscious that's the color um, it's number three. At least they had it as number three. So 
but yeah, I really like it. It's a nice little change for the holiday season. It's still light, but it has just a little bit of like gold shimmer. And I don't like any like chunky glitter. Um, it's cute, I like it. I'm trying to figure out what day we should get our Christmas tree because it is going to rain this whole weekend and I really don't think it's a good idea to go look for a tree when it's raining. It just is messy trying to bring it in the house. So we're trying to figure out if we should get it tomorrow or wait until next week. But like, I don't want to buy a tree and only have it up for like less than a month or like only a couple weeks. Like I just feel like it's pointless. I want to get it up as soon as possible to have it last, um, you know get our money's worth because I think this year we might get a flock tree. I really want to convince Anthony. I think he's fine with it, but of course they're just expensive. I know a lot of people like aren't about real trees. All of my life growing up, my family always got a real tree. So I feel like it's just something that I grew up with. I know fake trees are so easy because you put it up, take it down. You don't have to worry about the messiness. I mean, I think it's still a little messy, but they don't shed like real trees do, but there's something about that tree smell. It's just, you know, we just, it, we gotta do it. So I really, really, really want a flock tree this year. I just know that they're so expensive. So obviously like if we're gonna be spending that money, I wanna have it up for a good amount of time. So I just got home, let me turn this down. Um out to Michael's, Home Goods, and TJ Maxx. I only ended up getting belts from TJ Maxx because I don't know if I've showed you guys, by the way, this lighting is horrible. Hold on one second. Went to TJ Maxx because I wanted to find a belt or just something that I can something that I can put around my waist. I'm wearing this, I don't know if I told you guys, but we are doing a family photo shoot with Gray and Bella, and I have these outfits picked out. I think I showed you guys in one of the vlogs I was sharing with you a ton of the clothing that I got Bella, but there's this one really cute pink dress that she has that I'm thinking would go really well with this other sweater dress that I have. It's like stripes, it has pink and gray and white and like a, kind of like a soft brown color. Um, I'll show you guys. I think it's from Vici, of course. But I really love the way it looks together. And then we found a shirt for Anthony that'll really go. So we'll see how it all looks. But the sweater dress is very like flowy and I just, I don't love the way it looks on me. It makes me, I feel like it makes me look bigger than I am. So I feel like I need it to be cinched around the waist. So I wanted to get a belt that would go with that finding a few belts I don't know what's gonna work I got this is kind of the color that's in it a little bit um, I found this belt which probably won't be able to go around my waist because it's like a normal belt um, and then I also got this three pack it's like Madden girl but this is the exact pink color that's in the dress it's like a very soft light pink and this has holes all the way down so it's really for like around your waist or you know to pull to put around like a sweater or something so i'm hoping one of these look good with a dress i'll have to try it on and then i want to do like knee high boots something a little bit tighter i think so i have to order those but anyway that is all i got while i was out i actually decided to hang around the town that I got my nails done in because it was rush hour and I really didn't want to drive home in rush hour so I just figured I would stop at a few stores but that is all that I got. I wanted to look for some things at Michael's but it was so picked over like they had no Christmas stuff. It was all like empty like I swear all the aisles were picked over. I think they had like a 50% off everything sale or something crazy so yeah but anyway. Um, I have some candles. I have a candle haul. I got a ton of candles at Bath and Body Works. Like I've done two sales and I just want to show you guys what I have. Box right here that I need to open, but I have a few. Oh my god, this is like really, really making me self-conscious. This is from my previous order and I do have some downstairs that I think that Anthony took. Some more manly ones. But I got Spice Gingerbread Swirl. I got Snow Mountain Lodge, which I think is a great one for like the bathroom 
It's very like fresh smelling, but I really liked that. I got vanilla balsam. It's like a sweet Christmas tree scent. I love that. And then of course flannel. I had to get another one of these. Flannel is one of my favorites. It's just a classic. Oh, I cannot get enough of that scent. Some that I am saving for um, like December and winter. Got Yuletide. This was a different one. Um, it's kind of like a mixture of like pine. Yeah, it's it's really cool. It's like a like woodsy but sweet. It's so good. It's a uh, rosemary and pine with notes of eucalyptus and cedar. So it's the first time I tried the Yuletide. You know, they all kind of smell the same at the end of the day. I feel like they just kind of rename them. Like, do you ever feel like that? Like, they're always like, new scent. But then it's it literally smells like something else, like, that you've tried it before. Um, I also got Winter. Winter is one of my favorites. My sweet boy. Um, yeah, it's just a classic uh, winter scent. It's fir needle, orange, uh, notes of clove, and citrus. It's, I don't know, it just... It reminds me of Christmas. I love that. So I'm going to save the winter. Actually, might have gotten another one of those. I really want to show you guys some things that I got um, for Bella for Black Friday. But I know she watches these videos, so I don't want her to see anything. But me and Aunt did go out shopping. Oh, I could show you my new snow boots. I actually got those from Nordstrom on Cyber Monday. Got a great deal on them. I will show you guys when I go upstairs. Um... They're actually really good quality. I was in need of getting new snow boots because I don't have any good quality ones. The last time I got any, which aren't really, the snow boots that I have right now aren't really snow boots. They look like snow boots, but they're not like that high quality, like good for the cold kind of snow boots. For like the fashion as opposed to really, you know, keep you warm and like water, you know, waterproof, stuff like that. So let's see the ones that I picked. I don't even remember. Um, I think I got, I think I stocked up on just some favorites. Oh, this one's nice. Anthony has this one downstairs, uh, Fireside. I just decided to order another one of these. Also really love the packaging on this. It's very nice looking. It literally smells like a fire. It's very nice. Um, I'm sorry for the bad lighting. I feel like I literally look like hell right now. And then just a fresh balsam. This one just smells straight up like a Christmas tree. And then I got holiday. This one looks like the Yuletide in the winter. This is nutmeg, clove, cinnamon, and cardamom. I don't know what that is. Oh, wow. This is... This is re... Oh, wow. I don't know if I like that gray. This is like straight up cinnamon. It's kind of overpowering. I wasn't sure how this was gonna smell, but I might need to save this for someone because I don't know if I really like that. Um, okay, we also got Evergreen. This one's a different style candle. It's like, I don't know, shorter, wider. This is just Evergreen. Another great Christmas tree scent, cedarwood, cinnamon, fir needle, and pine. I have a whole stash right here, if you guys could see. Whole stash of candles. And I'm balancing the camera on the door, which is super safe. Um, okay, two more. Two more. Another winter, basic, white. Same exact one. I knew how much I love the winter one, so I just ordered a backup of those. And then I think I got another Marshmallow Fireside, which is my staple every single year. I love this one. So that is it. That completes my Black Friday candle haul. Um, I love, I am pretty stacked up until the new year. What's going on, my boy? What's up, bubs? I like love the fact that we got rid of that lamp in the table and then moved it over there. I don't know. I just, I feel like it's more open in this room. I need change. Do you ever feel like that when you just like, okay. That completes all of my candles. Got an order from Grove Collaborative. I just got a few things. I got the Mrs. Myers, um, three 
piece set came with the red caddy again this is the orange clove scent it's one of the winter scents i got a refill of the caldrea lavender cedar leaf uh, hand soap one of my favorites i love it um the caldrea scents smell so good and then of course i got my walnut and cellulose scrubber sponges i get every month and i also got this caldrea um Juniper laurel mint hand lotion so I figured I would try that out, and I think it goes really well with the the theme I got going on in this bathroom. I don't care to go crazy in my bathroom because I just, I don't know. I did this last year. Just pretty simple, simple decor with my with my towels that are really wrinkly and need to be washed. Um, yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty much it for the bathroom. I'm upstairs, I wanna show you guys. Um, the snow boots that I got, don't mind the mess in the bathroom. I still haven't cleaned this room. I got some more of these at Cosmoprof when I was there. These are like super fuzzy scrunchies. I've been loving scrunchies. Can you tell? Shoes that I got from Nordstrom are Sorel. I think that's how you say it. Sorel's very popular, um, good quality snow boots. These were the last pair that they had and my size. Hold online, actually someone on uh, Instagram who I follow, I think her name is Holly. I think her name's Holly. But I saw her post something about how she had these shoes, not the exact color, but like similar style. And she said they were on sale at Nordstrom, so I went on. I decided to snag them before they sold out. And this was the last pair, like I said. So I just grabbed them. But I love them so much. They're so comfortable. They fit perfect and they just look so cute. Uh, they're more like high. They're definitely like high uh, boots, but such good quality. And like I could just already tell they're going to be so warm. So these are originally $190 and I got them for $143, I believe, or $140 something. So I feel like that's a good deal. And like I said, I just really needed some nice snow boots. So these are the ones that I got. These are like super thick. I love the fur. It's so warm inside. They have this kind of like suede feel to them. Um, and then like all the rubber on the bottom. The gold. They're so, so cute. And they go really well with my jacket that I have. I have a winter jacket that has sort of the same like look to it with this kind of fur and it's black i just feel like it would go really well so these are the ones i got um yeah i love them i think they were definitely a good investment i'm glad i got the last pair they had different colors too they had like a gray pair a white pair um different sort of styles too i really wanted the brown pair um, but they were like sold out of everything. So that was that was my purchase for myself for Black Friday. And also got this package from Too Faced I wanted to show you. Came with this adorable bag, which is so nice for travel. Like I'm legit gonna use this when I go away. It's a really nice like faux leather, has a gold um zipper and these cute little patches here. Um it's just such a nice good looking bag even anthony when he pulled it out he was like this is such a nice bag i was like i know so i think this is a new collection it is the pretty rich collection they came with a bunch of products in here there's a i can open this up there we go there's a really nice palette in here also all of the packaging is kind of like this um uh, almost cushioned feel like look to it and this is the palette. Really nice colors for the holidays as well. These are really cute names. It's designer, fancy that, filthy rich, clutch your pearls, princess cut. It's cashmere, don't care at all. So cute. I love the names on that. There's also a disco glow. Give yourself a glow job. That's funny. It's a mask. Oh my god, I think it's a mask. Whoa. It smells pretty good. Okay, so this is, I guess, a glitter mask. 
have three of these which are the diamond light diamond fire highlighters they come in this really adorable packaging like press it open right here open it up it's so cute more of like white with like a pink and green iridescent they look like an iridescent kind of like duochrome i think and then we also have a diamond light highlighter brush i shine sparkling lip glosses there are five of them all different colors let's do the lightest color because that's what i get drawn to the most this one's all the stars i just want to see the packaging oh my god look how gorgeous look how cute that packaging is that is so, so cute. I'm weird about smells. It doesn't smell like anything. The packaging on this is so cute. Like, I swear, Too Faced has the cutest packaging. I'll probably keep, like, one and then put the rest in giveaways. Guys, I have so much giveaway stuff. I'm getting ready to... Oh, wait, wait, there's another one. So there was, like, six um i'm getting ready to do a big holiday giveaway so stay tuned for some of my next vlogs i will be sharing that with you guys we also have the better than sex and diamonds limited edition mascara it has diamonds like all over it or like you know crystal looking that's really cute i really am obsessed with this bag it's so cute and it can fit so much like i could put hair stuff in here i could put makeup in here I love this. So I have not been filming a lot of main channel videos, which I'm sure you guys know, but my big, really good camera totally died on me, so I actually have to send it out to Canon. I always use the um, Canon 70D. I have like all different types of lenses. Really invested in this camera. Got it a few years ago. It's only a few years old, um, but it's completely, it won't even turn on. It's like it turns on, but the screen, it doesn't show anything. You can't take videos or pictures. Like, I don't know what the heck happened, but it just crashed on me one day. So I've had to use my Canon M50, which isn't, it's good for vlogging, but it's not like the best camera for like main channel videos, sit down videos. I mean, it works fine, but I'm just really particular about the quality for main channel videos, which I feel like is why I've been slacking so much because my freaking camera is broken. So I really have to send that out. I just got like a whole thing on Canon for me to fix the issue, send it out. I have to box it up, um, make sure that I send like the charger, the battery, an SD card. I'm just praying that it gets back to me safely and it doesn't cost an arm and a leg to get fixed because, um, you know, I don't know what the heck happened and I really don't want to have to get another camera. So I'm hoping it's a small issue, but yeah, really, really upset about that because I really love that camera and I also really love the lens that I got with it and I can't even use it. So that's just great. I got a new planner for 2019. You guys know I was using this planner, um, which I still love. It's also, it's very big and I don't really use the day-to-day -day, um, pages. But I really love this one. I got this at Target. This one only goes till July, or actually it goes till June of 2019, but because I'm booking weddings in 2019 and I have a lot more going on in 2019, I did have to pick up another planner. The only thing I don't like about this one, I love the layout and everything, which I'll show you. The only thing I don't like about it is it doesn't have those little tabs on the side. So I do have to, actually I think I have some Erin Condren marker things you like put in the page. Um, of the month or the day that I'm working on but yeah it doesn't have these things on the side for the month which is kind of annoying but I really love this the months just look like this and then each week looks like this so every day has these like little boxes on the side of like every week this is really cool it has like to-do list and then it says call email errands and then notes at the bottom so I really like that because for this other planner, I'm so picky with planners, guys. I go through planners like this. Like, I get so bored of them. And I'm the type of person where I'll put it in my phone, but I need to write it down. I need to physically have something written down. I don't know why. It just, it's just the way I work. So, with this one, like, 
And I like the fact that every single week I can go in and even if I don't use this side for the day, I can still do like my to-do list for the, for the week or like what calls I need to make, errands I need to do, blah, 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 whatever. So this one has probably a good like, I don't even know, like 40 or something pages back here for notes. So I feel like that's good. But yeah, I am booking the end of 2019 um for weddings i have a few months that i am really busy in 2019 but i feel like i really needed a planner i have like a whole like portfolio thing of all my contracts of all the weddings but it does help to mark everything physically on you know i have it on my phone calendar but it helps to mark it off in an actual and it was starting to annoy me because when i was writing in here i would write in the back dates that i need to remember for weddings and I was like all right forget this like I just need a 2019 planner so that is what I did I have a video that I need to work on um hopefully can get this video up to night I also wanted to ask you guys um me and Anthony I've been looking up so many car reviews me and Anthony are looking to get a bigger well get me a new car um get a bigger car next year I'm not really sure if we're thinking about getting it before the wedding probably after just because we have so much going on but they do have some great like holiday deals for like new cars and i'm wanting to trade my car in so i don't really know if i'm going to get a used car a new car but i know that i want to get a bigger suv and i want it to be three rows of seating the reason being is that when we do have a child and even when we have bella and we want to go places with grayson and bella Grayson and a baby in the future we don't have that much space and we usually put Grayson in the back seat my car is actually really like compact it's small um it's a very small SUV but we have to put Grayson in the trunk of our car which is not safe at all um because he can't necessarily be buckled in and I want him to be able to be buckled into a seat so ideally we'd really love to have three rows because Grayson will be able to be buckled in in the third row. We can have that row for him. Um, and if not, we could still have the third row pushed forward and then fasten him in somehow. But like, it's just the way it is, he doesn't really fit. He fits in our trunk, but he does not ideal. It's, it, he's a very big dog. I feel like we need more space. We've been looking up the best family SUVs for 2019. I'm really, really interested in two. Like I've looked at so many. We looked at the Kia Sorento. We looked at the Honda Pilot. We looked at um, the Chevy Traverse. We looked, we've looked at so many. Things that are really standing out to us is the Volkswagen Atlas. I've had a Volkswagen before. I had a Jetta and I loved it. Um, and then we're also looking at the Toyota Highlander. I think we're really loving those two. Um, we really love like the Ford Explorers and stuff, but we're just trying to figure out what would work well for our large dog and a family in the future. So I really do want to trade in my car. I feel like I'm over it. I've had so many freaking problems with my car. I'm sure you guys have heard about it. You guys have asked me a lot about the Jeep Renegade, which is what I have right now. You guys ask me all the time. Do you love your car? Do you recommend it? To be honest... I really liked it in the beginning and it was a great change sorry i just turned on my computer and it got like really weird lighting um it was a great change from going to like a small jetta to an suv like i feel like it was great because it was not too big it was still like a good size suv and a good transition but i'm outgrowing it and i've also had a lot of problems within the first month or so of me having it i already had to get something um replaced I have had issues with like my seat, like the powered seat wouldn't move. So I wouldn't even be able to drive my car because um, it would be stuck in a certain position and I couldn't reach the pedal. So I had to take that in. Um, I'm not even gonna go on about it, but there's just been problems. And I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that it's a it was a brand new car when I got it. So when you, when you get like a brand new vehicle model that comes out the same year, it's just, it's bound to have problems. So that's kind of what happened to me. Do I recommend it? Honestly, I don't know. Um, it works really good in the snow. It's worked well for us for the time being, but I'm ready like for a change. 
there's a lot of things now looking back that I like wish I had with it like, also the black interior I'm like over the black interior especially with Gray's hair his white hair I, I really want light interior I really really like the Volkswagen Atlas but I've also heard that that has issues so I really just I want to see both of these in person and do drive tests and stuff with the Highlander and the Atlas. If you guys have either of those cars, let me know what your feelings are about them and if you like it, if you recommend them, or what other SUV you guys recommend because we are really interested in looking soon. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of over my car and I'm ready for a change and eventually when we have a family, we're gonna want a new car. So it's just a matter of what when's the best time and when we're ready, but we really want to go start looking soon and kind of nail down the car that we that we want to get but anyway i actually was watching on youtube which is why i brought this up uh, i was watching on youtube um this youtube channel that i found called andy the lab and it's this girl that reviews cars um, that are best for her lab she has a bigger dog so it's really interesting um seeing her car reviews uh, and how it works well for her dog and of course, you know, we bring Gray to the park I bring him to my parents house all the time. He's he's in our car a lot So so I really have been liking her reviews and she actually did a review on the Atlas And I was kind of sold after I saw that video. But anyway, let me know what you guys recommend. I know That there's so many to choose from and it's really just about like, you know, the lifestyle and you know, your your personal opinion on what works best for you and your family but let me know what you guys think and what you recommend i am cooking a meal right now and also watching Brittany and baby um i'm making this hello fresh meal black and chicken penne and then also i'm adding a side of asparagus which is my absolute favorite my favorite thing to put on the asparagus is the garlic and herb mrs. dash you guys know if you've been watching me for a while I love it so Anthony will be home soon um, I'm gonna get dinner prepared. I'm gonna feed Gray. Well, actually, his food's in his bowl. If he has any in. I need to add 